so to start off this look I'm first going to moisturize my skin and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturizing Balm which also has SPF in it as well and I've been using this this whole time and it's literally made my skin look like so like moisturized and I don't know how to explain it but it's been working so well but I will have a skincare video soon and I'm also going to be using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray and just spritzing my face with this. For foundation today I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal Perfect 2 in 1 foundation in the shade Tan and I'm just going to buff this into my skin using a foundation brush and I'm not going to colour correct in this video because with this foundation it doesn't make me look grey whatsoever so and um, you can tell like it just really warms up the area by itself so I just really love this foundation because it's just so quick and easy to use I can always skip the correcting part and then for concealer I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige I just got this colour and it's just the perfect one I used to use pure beige but it was just way too light and then toffee was too dark so I got medium beige and it's just perfect and I recommend these concealers to anyone that's super affordable easy to blend and they just cover so so well and I'm just going to blend that away with my damp beauty blender I did also kind of put some on my chin and forgot to blend it out but it will be blended later on in the video I just didn't notice and then I'm going to set that concealer using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I'm going to use the yellow powder in there and just pressing that under my eyes I'm now using the Makeup Revolution Concealer Palette and taking this dark colour right here and I'm going to be contouring with this shade. I did kind of mix it with the darkest one in the palette just to make it a bit darker and I did blend this all with my Damp Beauty Blender. I also did do my nose a bit lightly, I never contour my nose but I just did a bit here and I'm just blending away you want to make sure that the contour is in the hollows of your cheeks and then I'm going to grab the ultra contour palette and use this cool tone brown shade and I'm going to set that cream contour Just to add a bit of warmth to my skin, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in the shade Caramel 35i and just lightly dusting this on the cheeks and on my neck as well. And then I'm going to grab the Ultra Contour Palette again, I use this one a lot today but I'm just highlighting my skin with this, I use the highlighter in there just to add um, some highlighter on my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and my cupid's bow and a bit on my chin as well. Don't know how many times I said highlighter there, but this is what happens to me when I do voiceovers. Next, I'm going to be priming my lids with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, as always, in the shade Medium Dark Warm. And then I'm going to be using this eyeshadow called Myla, it's a MAC eyeshadow, just to set that base in so I have a nice clear canvas for my eyeshadow to go on. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette by Morphe Brushes today and I first use this taupey brown colour and I just buff this into my crease and I also use the orange shade by that colour, I didn't point to it, it's like the same clip but I'm going to be using the orangey shade just on top of that to um, warm that crease up a little bit. I'm then going to be taking the shimmery bright orange shade just to apply that on my mobile lid and I'm just going all the way up to the crease colour and stopping right there. And then I'm going to be taking the bright matte orange colour that we use in the crease and I'm really concentrating that on the outer corner and a bit more on the crease as well just to intensify that a bit more. And then I also grabbed the fudge shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. This is like my most favourite brown ever so I always reach for it for some reason. And I'm applying this on the outer corner, the inner corner and a bit on the crease. Kind of creating like a halo effect. 
and just making sure that I'm blending everything away. So on the lower lash line, my camera did stop recording, but what I did, I mixed fudge and the bright matte orange shade from the Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette, and I just mixed the two and applied those on my lower lash line. I used my Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara on my lashes and just applied a bunch on my, on my top and bottom lashes. Now on to lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Brown Sugar. Now this is my first time ever using it and I have to say like I'm super surprised with like the quality of it. The lip liner is like the most smoothest lip liner I've, I've ever ever tried, it's just so creamy. Um, but I'm just lining my lips with that and filling them in. I will be having a full review on this sometime next week as well. I'll be wearing it all day just to let you guys know on the longevity of it and comparing it to maybe other shades that I like as well. So make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that. And I just apply the liquid lipstick on top and it's just like my perfect nude colour. Like I prefer it more than my taupe now. So yeah. Anyways, that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!